The short film premiere, Bug City, is classified MA. It contains sexual references, nudity, some coarse language, and drug use. If you are below 15, you shouldn't be watching this. Drug use in Australia has changed drastically over the past 50 years. The 80s saw the introduction of crack cocaine, which turned youth drug use into a terrifying issue. Then the 90s, which popularized party drugs, ecstasy, acid, ketamine, and so on. From the early 2000s and still to present day 2037, meth is deadliest. Although, thanks to Australian scientists and Colombian suppliers, this is changing fast. The meth epidemic that started over 30 years ago, uh, as you can imagine, it's pretty bleak back then, raging the streets. Uh, going from small town to small town, wreaking havoc across all of Midland Australia. What did they do? They uh, created a counter drug called uh, Bio uh, Yugo Biocracy, and it's, uh, it's a counter drug for for uh, for meth. These are the symptoms of a user: fever. Get this harsh cough <coughs> right down in, in your lungs. A few days later, your skin begin to itch. Like, like this bug's running right under your skin. And then your skin peels off like a rash, peeling off everywhere. And then death. Continuing on from what Professor Scorsese said, bug is a highly addictive psychoactive drug, meaning it affects the user's central nervous system, altering a person's mood, thinking and behavior. Although sold as a hallucinogenic drug, a drug altering perception, effects have been reported to vary from user to user. One user, who I met whilst filming with Scorsese, allowed me to detail his story. I started at a young age. 12 and it continued on until I was 23 the drug taking that is I started small a little bit of crack here a small taste of heroin here the good stuff but only a small amount and then I had to get more and more and more until my mortal hunger for <laughs> That good, good taste <laughs> was too much for me to handle, and I had to find something more. Something like bugs. And I met him in a mall, an abandoned mall. A small ginger man with taut features. And he sold me what changed my life. <laughs> Here is a recreation of Danny's harrowing experience. Howdy. Howdy, George. What can I do you for? I'm looking for not my usual. I need something a little more potent, a little more, more kick, a little bit more tasteful, a little bit more artful, a little bit more erotic, a little bit more pain. I got something just for you. Drug on the street. It's called bugs. Oh. I got a specific strain from Colombia. Hmm? It's called the grass hooper. Give us a taste. Just one right. pop for you. Yeah, just one pop for me. It's, on it's in short supply. Why do I do? Just knock one back. Oh. Oh. That hit me hard. That hit me hard. Oh, that hit me hard. Oh, you can't anymore. No, 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 no more. No, you can't have it. Danny had lost his deal, and after only one taste of bug, he was already infatuated with it. I need, I need more. I need more. He spent days hopelessly searching for the chance to get his next hit, but to no avail. Eventually, returning back to the mall where he first tried bug. Danny relocated his dealer. There he is!
dogs. Hand over the bugs now, heathen. You'll never get my bugs from me, boy. Then I'll have to take them from you. I'd like to see you try. Buenos dias, George. Bugs are mine. Get the bug? 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 Let me share in the bug. Oh, such a kind gentleman. What's your name? Sit down. Oh, yes. Sniff. 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 Having been so close to death, you would have expected Danny to try and seek help, but that wasn't the case. He returned to his toxic ways, a drug abuser living on the streets, a burden to society. Hope wasn't seen again for about seven months, where out of nowhere, Danny was reminded of family. My daughter, I left her behind. Danny's daughter became his motivation, giving him reason to squash his addiction and Miraculously, he did. My family was torn apart, fractured through the middle. I lost my daughter, my daughter, I lost my daughter. But, now that I am off the bugs, she has come back to me. This. <laughs> she carved this for me. <laughs> it's of her. Just, she's got some hair. This is, this is for my daughter. <laughs> and I may not be the man I used to be, but at least I have my family. So, the government's meth counter bug ended up being worse than meth itself, effortlessly ruining lives and taking the lives of hundreds of thousands. And yet, two years after the incidents of Danny Pometto, Bug's purpose remains unchanged. Like cane toads being introduced to fight the cane beetle, the bug epidemic is only set to worsen and is here to stay.